private tables are an effective tool that let users quickly and effectively summarize and analyze big data sets. I'll walk you through every aspect of pivot tables in this lesson, from their fundamentals to their more sophisticated capabilities. At first, you have to transform all your data into Excel table in order to create a pivot table. After that, choose all the data, pick the Insert tab, and then click Table to accomplish this, like this. Or you can just simply use shortcut Ctrl T and click OK. Now you can see that your table has some borders and such little triangle up here in the bottom right corner. Also, it is filter is presented in the header of your table. For your convenience and in a whole, usually I give a name to the table. For this, again, I have to select the whole table. After that, go to Table Design tab and here give table name. Let it be Employees. And click Enter. Perfect! Now our table has its own name named employees. Perfect. You can also give a name to a table by not selecting the whole table, but just clicking on any cell of your table. And after that, go again to Table Design tab and here name your table. As you can see, here in Insert tab the table mark is unable. It means that your table is already formatted in required format for creating pivot chart. Perfect! Let's continue. For inserting pivot chart, again navigate to Insert tab. After that, choose Recommended pivot tables. Click on it. A sample of one of the six suggested pivot tables is the total yearly salary broken down by country and city. So we have here six examples of pivot tables. Alternatively, you can make a blank pivot table. So for now, click Cancel. And after that, go again to Insert tab and choose Pivot table. Here you can select, choose where you want the pivot table to be placed. You can select or, or the new worksheet or existing worksheet. I prefer new worksheet and click OK. Now you can see the draft of your pivot table. The fields that are available are shown in the field section in relation to the names of the columns in your source table. Click the Tools icon and select the layout you wish to use to alter the way the sections appear in the field list. The filter field, column labels, row labels and values fields are all located in the layout section. Just tick the Fields box in the field section to add it to the Layout section. By default, the row labels are contains the non-numeric fields. The Values box is designated for numerical fields. Excel uses the SUM function on numeric value fields by default. For example, we would like to count the SUM of Salary for Analytics Department. For this, you have to choose annual salary up here and it will be up here in the second column B. You can see that when I click on any free cell of my worksheet, this pivot table chart that is from the right side of my data is disappeared, but when I click again on the pivot chart, it is enabled. You are free to select an alternative summary function based on personal preference. 
To do this, right click on the value field you want to change, select Summarize values by and then pick the function you want from the list of alternatives. I will be using the average function. Let's click on it. What else we can see up here? Again, just right click of your button and choose here show values as and we can see that we can choose it percentage of grand total of column total row total let's select of grand total and we can see our values in percentages let's get back to previous view like we had before show values as no calculation and again we will receive numbers moreover we can add the second column up here that would show us the sum of annual salary. What we should do for this? You can just simply add the same field to values tab. For this you have to select annual salary and drag it down to the values. Now you will receive the second column of sum of annual salary. Concurrently you can here change summary values by average So, as you can see, for IT department, for example, we have average salary as 73,000 and sum of annual salary 295,000. We can also see that in finance department we have the same calculation and other departments are preferably the same because we have only one employee in this department. Let's make the percent of the total, so right click on your button, summarize values by, show values as and percent of grand total. The second option how you can summarize values by, that's just you can click on pivot table analyze and go to field settings. And here you can select the required value field by average count or sum and the same you can do with values. Okay. From now I would like to point up here some dollar symbol. How to do this? I have to select the range of cells I require. After that or press Ctrl 1 on my keyboard or just go to the number category tab and click up here. I will receive the same field as by pressing Ctrl 1. Up here I have to select number for example or to choose currency and here to choose my dollars where is it English let it be Canada and click OK now my data are sorted what you can do you can also sort this data by from money from maximum to minimum for example for this you have to click on any cell of your required data after that right click of your button and here choose sort for example from largest to smallest and now we can see that consulting department has the largest average annual salary of ninety thousand dollars you can also sort it from minimum to maximum, for this choose sort smallest to largest and we can see the other picture. What else feature you can do? You can also change the design of your pivot table, for that you have to go to this to design tab and here in the drop down list to choose what design is most likely for you. I will select this one good now for example I want to show you some trick that for instance I would like to change some data up here for analytics for example I will change I will at first sort my data by analytics department and I can see that we have only one row for Ethan that has annual salary for 55,000 so, for example, I want to change this number. I will change it on 45. And now, after I am getting back to my pivot table sheet, I can see that this number wasn't changed. For this, I have to refresh my pivot table. 
I have to right click on my button and here find refresh, click on it. Now all my data were refreshed. Moreover, if I want to filter this chart with countries, I have to select country up here and drag it to the filters below. Let's select it and drag it. Now such row appeared up here above. Here I can choose what country I would like to leave for analyzing. Let it be Canada and click OK. Now I can see that all my data are filtered by Canada. If I want to choose two countries, I can select extra country, USA for example, and click OK. Perfect. We have also in pivot table such perfect instrument named slicers. For, for using slicers, you do not need to filter again and again and selecting, for example, countries again and again you want to filter. By adding slicer, you can just simply click on, on this slicer and your data will be filtered automatically. So how to add slicers? So for inserting slicers, you have to simply go to pivot table analyze and here click on insert slicer. Here you have the sample list of your columns. I will choose the last one, let it be city and click OK. Now I have received the list of my slicers by cities. I can see that all cities are with a blue color. So if I want to choose some city, for example Toronto, I will receive that only this city is blue color. So my data are presented only by Toronto city. Now if I want to choose several cities, I have to hold Ctrl key on my keyboard and choose the city I require. As you can see, all the cities were marked with the blue color. I can also choose the other cities like this or if I have to choose several cities from the cities that are going one by one, I have to just click shift button on my keyboard and select from which city, from the first city to the last city and all my cities that are present between these cities will be selected. Now if I want to undo these changes, for example, I do not want that Houston would be present in my chart, then I have to again hold Ctrl key button on my keyboard and click on this city. So Houston is now white color. Los Angeles let it be also, Miami. You can see here that also in this Bible chart these cities are disappeared. Perfect. If I want to get back all cities to my chart, then I have to just click on this filter and all the cities will be presented in my chart. For quicker analyzing your data, you can also add some bar chart. For example, you have to go for this to pivot table analyze tab, after that to pivot chart and here you can see that you have different tape templates of your of presentation for your data. So let's choose for example the Pi one and click OK. Now we have received such incredible pie chart. You can see here we have departments, we can we have average of annual salary, countries, so all labels that are present in our worksheet. For example, we do not need the data would be presented up here. We need only department should be reflected in this pie chart. For this, we have to remove this from our pie chart. How to do this? For this, you have to go to department tab and click on right click on your button and click on hide all field buttons on chart. Click on it. Now you have your data will be presented in such a great view. Super! For example, that you do not want that this show field would be reflected all the time when you click on your pivot chart. 
how to hide it. For this you have to right click on your button and click on hide field list and it will be hided even if you press on your pivot chart. So if you want to be it to be reflected then again click right click on your button and here choose show field list and your field list will appear. Remember that all data that are refreshing or changing in your pivot chart will be automatically refreshing in your pie chart. But if you change some data up here in your whole table, then you have to refresh your pivot table at first and after that you will receive all this data automatically. Do not forget also about the tool that automatically make refreshing while you opening all your worksheets. So this is in customization that I showed you before. If you want to move your pivot table to another worksheet, for this you have to click on any cell of your pivot table, after that go to pivot table analyze and here choose move pivot table. Here you can select or move it to the new worksheet or on an existing worksheet, but we require on a new worksheet, so I will select this one and click OK. Now my pivot table was automatically removed to the new worksheet and I can work with it up here. If you want to delete unnecessary pivot table from your reports, then you have to click on any cell of your table. After that go to Pivot Table Analyze tab. Here you have to choose Select Entire Pivot Table and click on Delete on your keyboard. And Pivot Table will be deleted. Perfect. Let's continue. So from this video lesson you have understood that one of Excel's most powerful and potent tools are pivot tables. Large datasets can be summarized and made sense of with the use of pivot tables, which also make it easy to see the pertinent information you require in a clear, manageable manner. For more Excel advice don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel if you found this tutorial useful. Till the next time. Bye-bye.